So this is going to be a true ending percent new game plus run. We're going to be using the same file that we did to do the any percent. And we're going to try to do it as quickly as possible. So you go, you can see stats there. And three, two, one, three. Okay, so how am I expecting this run to go by? Really good, really easy. Probably going to take us an hour, I imagine. Maybe an hour, hour eight. It's probably what I'm thinking. We're going to start off with our regular cocktail of ingredients. Speed boost, the double jump, and the no invisibility. Not necessary. Being seen by... Press the triangle button when I get close to an enemy. If the move the right analog stick to look around by pressing the R3 button. Escape is sometimes a necessity. I remember now. Holding the circle button if I ever forget how to do something. I can all... That was really fast. Like, everything kind of went well. Everything was really, really good. The way we transitioned from uh, the starting point over that wall, that wall is normally a bit of an a bit of an issue because you have to climb it. Going over the wall, double jumping right, double jumping left, and then double jumping left again. Everything kind of came out really clean. I need your help. So I don't normally do true ending by switching between all the uh, the daimyo one after the other. I usually will pick one for a while and then transition from that one daimyo to another after I've uh, gone enough reputation because I kind of want the reputation to go up a little fast. But um, Today I just kind of want to see what it's like if you, you know, you just jump between the feudal lords one after the other. So it'll be Ichijo, Akame, Sadame, Ichijo, Akame, Sadame, Ichijo, Akame, Sadame. The only issue when that's done is how much the game is going to interrupt that, you know, that flow by making one of the feudal lords um, have the uh the the gem before um it's their time in the uh in the queue so how do we solve for that we're just gonna have to have a bit of mental math in our head It was fairly fast. Once we opened the door, we weren't 1000% sure he was in that room because the uh, compass was suggesting maybe he might have been in the center warehouse. But, um... We kind of explored a little bit. We used our feelers to kind of get in, just to kind of see what was on the inside. What would have been more optimal is if I really had the confidence and just kind of went in.
So now we're going to have a regular cocktail. A letter slandering Ichijo, huh? It's interesting. I don't know if Akame makes a mission similar to this, where he asks you to send a letter that's um, scathing. Something that makes the other lord look foolish. Now it's time for the glowing stone. This is in Congo Pass, so this is very, very close by to where we are. Uh, sorry, I mean it's very, very close by, and it's like a kind of like a direct route from A to B. Wow, that was kind of unintentional. I came up here because I was thinking I was going to go kill that, um, that daimyo, right? Sorry, I, I meant I thought I was going to kill that samurai general. Because I'm so used to going to kill the samurai general, I forgot that, um... There's no uh, need to kill the Samurai General at this stage. I'm just sort of instigating violence. So there we go. That's the first stone. Six minutes. Now we're doing the Sakame mission. Oh boy. Kame. We're doing the thievery mission again. My package. Let's see, where is it gonna be? Okay. That was really fast. <laughs> Just a good route. Jumping over those... Um, I actually think it might have been faster instead of going up on that rooftop and then... Uh, Starting off going diagonally right and then switching diagonally left. It might have been faster if I just made a straight line, you know. So very soon we're going to get an attack on our house. Switching to Kinu. So now we're about to kill a barbarian chieftain. This is, this is normally a way to get you to get in a brawl with the barbarians so that um, you will be stuck defending against them. So strange. For a few brief moments, I felt like I got detected by the other barbarians, but 
there was just no one around so it was, it was just so it was so strange what was actually happening they must have been fighting some other entity probably some um, Sadame soldiers I imagine so normally after that cutscene the mission that we're about to do has a um, a boss fight but uh, because we switched to Kinyu there will not be a boss fight It's like a, one of those 80s movies when it ends with a freeze frame with them jumping in the air and the music starts playing. Steal food, weaken the enemy. Take care of gods one at a time. When surrounded by enemies, run away. <laughs> Steal packages during shipping. It's fair advice, I guess, right? Well, that delete button. You just walk in the room and boom! Deleted. And no boss fight either, so. Devil in the Mountains is much quicker. Much quicker. What is going on? Sometimes I just get stuck. I really don't want to fight barbarians. It's just not really the best thing for me. You just don't want to get into an engagement with those guys. Just a bunch of jerks. Every time you just sort of walk up to them and you just delete. <laughs> it 
It's so... <laughs> now for the merchant of death. So after this mission, we should be getting offered to do a, uh, to find the gem. <laughs> Using the merchant's quarters. Hmm. Uh, uh, For a few moments, you could actually see that my model didn't, well, my model just got, uh, D de despawned and uh, you could just see the level. Ichijo has him, Sadame. So this is kind of annoying because I just did an Ichijo mission, but we're doing it again. So Ichijo is kind of leading. We're going to have to check to see where he's at a little bit later in the run, probably after the um, Uzumushi fight. Oops. Okay, sorry, I was just testing to see something. This trick is a little bit harder. And, um, try to do it with, uh, super speed activated. Got the box. Hi. You do an attack in mid air, and um, that negates uh, the momentum of your gravity, and then you can just keep falling again. That's a little trick in case you're falling. Just do an attack mid air, and that just sort of stops your um, stops your gravity. Get the mercenary wrist yeast. This is one of those uh, connected missions. You do this and then you do the follow up. Stuck on one of the uh, one of the walls. I keep catching walls. So I'm going so fast. I really wonder how fast this would be an emulator. It'd just be like zooming.
Taking care of the tactical units, all scout. Gotta take care of oh. the first What happened? The enemy? Why are you still. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, no gem. Just had to make sure there was no gem before we ended it all. Being sending that um that sphere might not have been the best thing for us. Motion attack. Just gotta check out the reputations. Yeah. So it's kind of not really where I want it to be. So we're going to have to kind of work with Akame, then Sadame, and then Ichijo. Okay, looks like it's in... So there's a good chance we're probably going to be having to do the Kabuto fight coming up soon. Switch back to go. You have to switch back to go because these particular types of missions cannot be done by Kinu. You need to be go when you do these missions. The game will just not allow you to pass through. I just want to take this salmon here because... Um, ugh, I almost thought I just jumped over the cutscene point. That happens a bunch of times. You just sort of jump really, really fast in that area. Uh, the cutscene trigger will actually be underneath you, so you have to run backwards. Classic case of going too high too fast. Incident whilst standing sprint jump.
I accidentally used a double jump. Didn't need to. Didn't need to. find it funny how the cutscene has him running like along the water like why is he doing that that's that'll just get you caught right motivates the order of missions that appear on the screen. I wonder what it is. That bear tanked two invisible shadows to the face. <laughs> that was a very strong bear. Kame has information. Probably the Kenobi that has it. This just means that uh, we're gonna have to find Uzumushi. I mean, uh, it's probably gonna be Happy Tombo, not Uzumushi. And then get him. I always thought Uzu, uh, Happy Tombo is the easy one of the two. That was very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. We switched to using the Oscar Shuriken because it allows us to hit enemies at a distance without having to aim. And we have a lot more of those Oscar Shuriken than we do. No way. <laughs> Dude, I'm just reading this comment. Bro, you like the old Dave Chappelle. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. Thanks, dude. I got the I got the right look for it, you know? Every time it's every time I look for it, I'm always like, damn. What's up, man? How's your day been? Mm. 
enjoying some shinobi dough. I know I am. <laughs> we must defend the home from invaders. Yeah, you know. So far, I've really been enjoying this run. I really like this particular category because it's so easy. There's not a lot of chaos and... You know, when you play this game, you know chaos is a massive... <laughs> element to, like, just everything that you do. Um, you get caught once and then, like... Everything goes crazy, a hundred gods show up, they're chasing you, they're throwing shuriken, they're throwing bombs, you're just like, oh my god, what the heck is happening? Um, so I actually needed to switch back to go, because I can't do that mission as Kinu. Um, but yeah, you know, when you're playing on New Game Plus, and you have literally the best of the best items you can get, Uh, you can just sort everything out with like, <laughs> with 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 daddy's money. I feel like I'm Batman. <laughs> I played like a ninja, but you played like a samurai. Damn! I wish I had that kind of skill, man. I wish I had that kind of skill. You know, when um I said to myself, maybe I should speed run Shinobi Do. I never considered that I would actually have to get good at the game. Um. And even though I attempted it, it doesn't really happen. So, uh, we are stuck with me, um, never really being good at the game. <laughs> but, uh, we keep trying anyway, because it's, it's just fun to play. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So now, um, now we gotta fight uh, Uzumushi and Happy Tombo. It's not really much of a fight, you know. It's basically um, the usual for my boss encounters. Do the instant whilst standing sprint jump, get right in their face, unload the black ninja flame, and um, hit the split. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Dude, how is Ghost of Tsushima? Tsushima. I always, I always keep looking at it thinking, these are my boys. This is, um, what's that company called again? Sucker Punch? These guys know exactly what they're doing. They know how to make hits. I'm going to grab the secret document. Yeah, what do they call that? Going in as a ghost? Or going in as a... I guess like warrior? I don't know what the other term is, but like you can be a ghost or you can be like a fighter class. I saw like a bunch of the gameplay shots ages back. No way, that's crazy. I actually might need to play this game. I might need to get Ghost of Tsushima. It's just, uh... Oh my gosh, I've totally forgotten where that item was supposed to be. It is in this room. We have acquired the secret documents. Oh, Tenchu and, and, and Metal Gear. Okay, that's still really interesting. The Tenchu games had an unceremonious um, exit out of the gaming community. I feel like Konami just handled that property like trash. Um, 
Konami is... The, I think, no, it wasn't Konami. It was bloody... Was it Acquire? That published the last Tenchu? I don't remember, but I just feel like that poor, that poor franchise. Yo, what's good? How you doing, Swordmaster? I just feel so bad that what happened to that poor franchise. Okay, let's get some Sadame action. This bear versus ninja. Yeah. Money. Money, money, money. How much I wish I had more of it. How much I know it would ruin me if I did. Yeah, I'm doing good, Swordmaster. We're like making good pace in the run. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> There's cutscene number one. Um, so, in my head, I want all these guys to be over 45% reputation across the board. Let's have a look see at the reputation. So, that's 40, 38. So we're going to send that salmon that we got to Sadame cuz she likes it. And then we're going to do an Ichijo mission. Oh my gosh. And then um Sadame should be about 39, Ichijo on 43. Akame might still be at 40, he might go down 4 points, which would bring him down like to 36. So it would be 36, 39, 43, and then um, we're going to do the Akame mission. He's probably going to go up from that, um, if he goes down then... Oh, oh that was almost going to be bad for like a split second. I forgot to activate... Um, Invisible Shadow. I need more meditation. Man, all oh, you know, mad respect. I, I, I wish I was in your situation. I wish I was in your situation, Swordmaster. Even though, what am I saying? I actually just spent like bloody 50 bucks just like randomly the other day. I just bought like a bottle of Jägermeister. Didn't even fucking drink it on the night too. I was just thinking, yeah, I'm with the boys. Let's turn up, get the Jägermeister. Don't even drink it the whole night. Okay, so now we gotta switch to Kinu. By using Kinu, this should help us skip the Zaji boss fight. So then, these missions suck. They keep giving us shitty missions, dude. Man, I don't, I don't know why I'm getting such um, treatment from the game. I thought I was treating the game well. I thought I was being respectful, knowing my boundaries, but uh, you know we just have to do these robberies once again. Let's see who we're robbing. Just some regular folk. Take that. Gotta get over here. And good night. Can you just pick that up? Is that okay if you want to pick it up? Pick it up. There we go. Nicely done. What is even in the deluxe edition? I'm guessing that's like a bunch of extra skins for your ghost. Uh, or even for like maybe some horse armor. I don't know.
game's probably going to have DLC, knowing Sucker Punch. Um, the last two games only had one DLC package. So let's have a look at the reputation. So it's 44, 43, 39. We're going to bump up Sadame from 39. She should be about... 42. Oh, snap. That's actually awesome. There's a... Wow, you get a mini soundtrack. You get the avatars for, like, the PSN. You get an art book. Damn. I actually, um... Oh, no! Holy moly! What am I doing? I almost threw myself off the cliff. Well, anyway, yeah, like, I won't even lie, that art book sounds exciting because, god damn it, does that game look so bloody good. So good. Let's see. So the next thing on the menu is taking. Sadame, no. The next thing is getting the seventh soul gem. So, uh, I think we don't need to complete any missions properly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hmm. No, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. I'm just going to die so that my reputation only goes up by plus one point instead of the regular plus three because I feel like Ichijo is kind of... I, I want to keep them within this, like a similar range bracket. So if we look at our reputations after we do a little bit of garden defense. Do... You know when you when you play this game, the garden defense mechanic when you customize your garden, you outfit it with weapons, and then either some barbarians attack or you know some ninjas attack, whatever. This particular segment. You know, how much do you do you guys enjoy that? Did you ever really enjoy this segment or did you just find it like a frustrating part of the game? Just something you had to tolerate and that you didn't look forward to when it happened. I've had a I've had like a relationship like that with that mechanic for a while. So that's plus one there on Ichijo and it's zero zero. So uh, that's 45 on Ichijo. And then we're going to do, we're going to get a Akame mission. We're going to complete it. This will get Akame from 43 to about maybe 40, I'm thinking 46. And then we have to do a Sadame mission after that. And then she'll go from 42 to probably 45. So then everyone will be 45 plus, which is what I think you need in order to trigger the end game. Keep doing that. I'm confusing myself. Doop, doop. Wow, I actually was hoping that wouldn't happen, but it happened. Oh, that's so funny. There's a giant shuriken stuck to it. Am I in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. No worries, take your time. Hiding in bushes makes it harder for enemies to find you. 
every time I read that tip, I'm just not really sure if that's true at all. I, one day I gotta I gotta test it. I need to see what um how do you even test these bushes? I'm trying to even think about where bushes even are in this game. At least if there's any particular location where there's bushes and enemies that would patrol near those bushes. I don't think a location like that really is present. That mission ended in such a short amount of time. Like, if you weren't even paying attention, like, it, it just it would have vanished right before your eyes. Okay, let's have a look-see. So, it's 45, 47, 46. So, now, we don't actually need to do any more missions. Kame's next, so what's that? Kame's got way too high. Uh... This is bad for me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is bad, yeah? Because I, I can't complete this mission if I do. Then... I'm going to be in big trouble. I got to fail this mission. Okay, so that's so that should put us from 47 to 48, which is still probably in the range we want to be in. Okay, we're going to have to bump up Ichijo's stuff a little bit. Some food delivery. Do 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 delivering food for my bros. The f the bro food delivery song. It's such a failure of this game that the barbarians don't have any personality. They're all just barbarians. It's just sad, really. It's just sad. Barbarians deserve better than this, you know? This is my opinion. We look and... This is kind of where we need to be. So if I can go... Kame... So now I believe we can just fail missions with this challenge. Yeah, we're just gonna now like fail missions up until we reach Killer Whale's Eye, and then um, 
we should be ready for the end game. I look at this cutscene. And it's the cat. Oh, I think that's the I think that's it. I think that's the I think that's what we wanted to see. It's the cat. Oh, it looks like true ending is coming up soon. Let's have a look see. This goes hey. I uh, just need to check the numbers. The dom is kind of low. Conan is actually a very cool character. I actually don't know too much about his lore, uh, but. Um, I genuinely love watching Conan and things. I think he's just fun. Uh. <laughs> um. Now we just wait until we get Killer Whale's eye. Just sitting down. So I think like it's gonna be two more or three more missions until we can get Killer Whale's Eye. Looking at the traditions. Free Ichijo's men from their starvation. Yes, yes, it will, it will free the men. Annihilate the enemy. Like when you play this on very hard mode, it's actually easier to kill yourself because you can place a landmine underneath your feet and then boom, you die immediately. It's so it's so much quicker than like quitting game. But it is more expensive when you have to uh, use those landmines to kill you. Because each one of those things is like $400 or something. You're spending a lot of money. But uh, that's, a, that's a different sort of philosophy when you're doing that kind of run. I just feel like when you play on true ending... Sorry, when you play on very hard, a lot of what is possible in the other difficulties just isn't possible. Or maybe that's just uh, <laughs> my negative Nancy um, personality traits just kind of leaking out. Instead, I should be thinking, how do I make what is possible in easy mode possible in very hard? I don't know. This is tough. Enemies have a lot of health and they hit really hard. There we go. Okay, we got Killer Whale's eye. We gotta get Kinu out of here, young lady. Hit that Killer Whale's eye. Let's go, Killer Whale's eye. The Killer Whale's eye. What is that supposed to even mean? Is that like a reference to something? Why a killer whale's eye? Like my initial thought right is going back to when I was a kid and I would look at pictures of killer whales and you know how they're black and white um, and they have this giant white spot on the side of their heads. When you look at them, and for the first time when you look at a killer whale's eye, you think that giant white spot is its eye. And, um... I, you know, I might have, Swordmaster, I gotta be honest, I just don't remember. 
Bad memory is one of my um, characteristics right now. I'm working through it. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure if I followed you, Swordmaster. I probably did, though. I probably did. Yeah, like, long story short, I, I think maybe the reference with Killer Whale's eye is how you can look at something um, and be deceived into thinking it's, like, um, the window into someone's soul, but really it's an illusion, because the Killer Whale's eye is actually very small. It's not that white spot on the side of its head, it's actually very small. So, I don't know. I, I have no idea what Killer Whale's eye is meant to represent. Because as far as I understand, Killer Whales don't particularly have remarkable eyes for what they do. And they're not particularly that interesting for how they look when you actually look at the eyeball. You know, it's not like um, squid. You know, squid's eyes are amazing. They are truly like some of the most fantastic... Um, things nature has ever created. But, um, or it might be a reference to some little bit of Japanese poetry that I'm just not very aware of. It's one of those things that, you know, as a filthy Westerner, such as myself, uh, whenever I do play Japanese games, and I love them, love like this, there's just like a lot that just goes over your head. Because you just, you're not a part of that world. Oh, that's for damn sure. There's very few things, very few things in this world, just like Swordmaster said, Great Whites do not fuck with killer whales. Sorry, I actually need to stop saying that on stream. I'm trying, I'm trying not to say that on stream. Yeah, Great, Great Whites, and you know they're the king of the ocean, but man, you're only a king in your neighborhood. You're only a king in your neighborhood. Um... Yeah, man, great. Uh, killer whales are absolutely scary, strong, intelligent, and um, and they have great memories. There was this one documentary that came out, oof, I think like two thousand and eight. It was called like Blackfish. Jeez, that documentary was kind of disturbing. It was about um, SeaWorld, and um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with SeaWorld, because like, we don't have that in Australia. Um, it's like an American uh, franchise where it's some sort of aquarium water park combination kind of thing. Aquarium, theme park, water park thing, and um, it's like they have all these fish there, and they've acquired them unethically and it's so sad what's happened uh, to like those animals because um, they're they're sort of kidnapped and put in these small tanks and then they're made to learn tricks and you can kind of see how their behavior sort of goes um, that 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 torture that they go through ends up being exhibited outwards to their trainers and trainers get hurt you know trainers were getting bitten they were getting drowned <laughs> uh, it's um and people were trying to blame the animals like for like a period you know because they can't actually take responsibility for what it is that they were doing in those um, amusement parks, they they can't really. Let's see, it's starting to annoy me. Things going well. Hints of a peaceful resolution. That's what we'd like to hear. That's what we'd like to hear. How are the stats looking? All right, I'm sending missions, but they don't seem to be getting them. Yes, it's true. I don't get your missions because I don't care, brother. I don't care about Gamoran. I just want to go save the world. I just want this little salmon here because, uh... 
I like salmon. I think salmon is cute. I think salmon is cute, and I want it. <laughs> Sorry, that's a that's a, that's a little strange strange thing to say. I don't know. Okay. Just borrow it. <laughs> then you are super bad. <laughs> All right, we're going into the like the one hour mark here, and I'm feeling like, uh, wrap wrap it up, wrap wrap it up. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? That dude just ate something and he blew his own mouth up. I want to talk about Superman. <clears throat> because I'm such a giant nerd. Uh, I love Superman. I love reading his comic. Not all of them, some of them are very annoying. Uh, I love reading All-Star Superman. That is probably one of my all-time favorite Superman books. It's just like, um, it, it, it's what I want Superman to kind of be in stories. And he doesn't get to be that very often. You know, a beacon of hope and... 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 Yeah, too often I feel like Superman is just a big cop. He's just a big cop who doesn't really understand a lot of why everyone can't just be as good as he does. He kind of just comes across like a... Stop being annoying. Come here. Intruder. Alright, there's the cutscene. This is the cutscene we needed. Hey, look. No one get upset, but I failed a bunch of those missions for no actual reason. Um, I wasn't supposed to fail those missions. Not until I got that cutscene. So, I made a big mistake, and I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> okay, now, now we can start working our way to the end of the game. Am I going to have to start completing missions again? I hope not. It's like when you quit your job so you can become like a musician. You don't want to have to start working again. I mean, it's not like I would know anything about that. I'm just imagining if I had to, like, quit my job and become a musician. It's like, why do you think I quit the job? So that I wouldn't have to work a goddamn day. Not so that I can work a different job. That's probably why I'd be something like a one-hit wonder. Being a musician is work. It looks romantic because if you're really famous, all these wonderful things happen for you. But man, it's a, it's a goddamn job. And it's a really difficult job, especially if you're um, going to be trying to make a career out of it that doesn't involve studio work. You know, you music teacher or something. Good luck.
I shouldn't need to. I shouldn't need to. I shouldn't need to do any more missions. I'm pretty sure I won't. I'm pretty sure, but at this rate, I'm very concerned. <laughs> I'm very, very concerned. I'm just, yeah, like, how am I going to handle this? Because I, um... That is so strange. It's almost as if they had more health than usual. So very, very strange. It's like I threw an Asuka Shuriken at him whilst I had a, you know, beast mode activated and he just decided it didn't mean anything to him. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening here? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening here? Do, 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 Hmm. I don't actually know what is going on. Not too sure, but we will continuously keep pushing it to see how we can uh, get through to the end of this. Actually, you know what, dude? Just go to bed. Get out the way. Fight me. What are you doing here? No. What are you doing here? No. I hit him with the uh, the sphere that uh, turns his brain off. Ah, uh, we're just kind of a little sloppy, right? We're just being like a like just sloppy. And now I'm paying for it. Are you dissatisfied? I just keep getting dissatisfaction letters from all my friends. The ghost cart. This mission is so interesting. A mysterious ox cart has been appearing at night and no one knows who is running it or why. You must go to that cart go and kill it. Set up the uh, we have to get
Oh my gosh. Kabuto, why don't you want to engage with me? Maybe it's just too early. What admission is this anyway? Mushrooms. I think having them sub-45 was ultimately my downfall. I truly believed. You know what? This type of run is just not smart to do when you don't have lots of salmon. So I'm gonna save here. <laughs> Artisanal tea. I'm gonna save here on the top. Just so we can get ready for uh get ready for more missions what it, what am i missing at this stage cuz i think it has to be like 49 days until you're ready to go Got these goons gotten. I might be stuck in that loop. Oh, finally! My gosh! That took so many days so many days all right I'm just gonna save again just at the top there all right 46 days. We are about to end this thing. 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 It takes forever to get these guys to all agree to, you know, sign on board to this whole let's not kill each other game. But in the end, uh, we always get what we want like Craig Murdoch in his Tekken 5 ending. See that enemy skip? Stepped on his head. Gave me a little bit of an extra boost across the field.
So Kabuto is going to be easy. First we walk up to it, and then we nuke him. And then next on the menu, it's going to be Gamuran. First we walk up to him, and then we nuke him. Black Ninja Flame. I totally forgot to do the Kabuto split. I'm sorry. I might have to fix these splits before I post them onto split.io. That didn't really make much sense. And there we go. Now 1726. All right. That's it. That's it. You can always tell it's true ending because of this. Uh, so you can see there's Zaji on the floor. He's just like, oh, I'm Zaji. Oh, I'm alive. I didn't die this time, guys. I didn't die. <laughs> we have to rebuild. Such fine words, my friend, especially from you. You know, I was sure you try to stab me in the back. So, like, why doesn't Kinu wear the same clothing as Go and. <laughs> Look at these. You are still so naive, Ichijo. You are like a child. Oh, that's fucking weird, bro. Did you see that? It just had my time up there. It said like an hour 17. An hour and seven. Okay, so... This is the starting one, number three. We're going to save over that, so then this is the new one over here. This one's going to be number four. Alright, so essentially we're just going to have to do a little bit of math for that. And there we go.